since I was young, I just I loved I loved that feeling of floating and and um, the the noise of being out on on the snow by myself without like any other distractions. My name is Sadie Bjornsson Mobe. I started racing World Cups when I was 19, I believe, and I brought home 11 World Cup medals and one World Championship medal. And I also competed in two Olympic Games, the first one in Sochi, Russia, and the second one in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Cross-country skiing at a young age was um, it was something that was fun. I did it with my family and my siblings and, and it was always an adventure. But as soon as I started doing my first races, I kind of tasted the excitement for wanting to be the first one to the finish line. When I think back to being a young kid, we always, on the weekends, we drove this black Suburban um, with red interior and we would just toss all the ski gear in and it was like, it reminded me of, you know, the, like a cartoon. One of my most memorable experiences during ski racing was wearing the yellow jersey. Um, I always, I never wanted to be defined by just being a skater or just a classic skier or just a sprinter. Uh, it was always a goal of mine to be, to be good at everything, to be not just a one show pony, but an every show pony. And so when I got to wear that yellow jersey, that meant that I was the leader of the World Cup that day. And that was one of the, my greatest achievements. I think one of the things that I'm most proud of, I was awarded the Buddy Warner Award, which is basically something given to somebody for sportsmanship and what they give back to the ski community. And for my whole career, I was mentored by some really incredible people. And I feel like I was taught to be part of an individual sport, but also a team. And um, to learn to work with the people around you that are often the same people that you want to be, is, is a skill in itself. And so uh, when I, from pretty early on in my career, I tried to focus on connecting with people first and finding an opportunity to, to lift those around me up as well. Um, and so to walk away from sport knowing that I made a difference not just with the medals I won, but also with the ability to help those around me and bring others, bring others up with me is, it's something that I'm really proud of. These last few years, I've dedicated my time to encouraging the next generation. And in my mind, that's, that's kind of my way to pass on my torch. I love it when they video call me in the days leading into the races and kind of ask for some of my advice. Um, you know, by the 10th time you visit a World Cup venue, you start to see the, the little holes or the little places that you can make moves. So it makes me feel like I'm still part of the team to be able to connect with the girls. I think it's I think it's really easy to end your career and feel like you you could have done more or you wish you could have done better. Um, and that was kind of a goal. Last year I took one last year of ski racing where I took one step out and one step in. And in that year, I gave myself the ability to have perspective. I had the opportunity to say, okay, what, did, what would I regret? What is one last thing I can do that I would regret that I didn't do? And so, actually, the thing that I did is I took the time to look around. And I think we're, we're so driven by these results that we want to accomplish, or like to get on some some leaderboard or to be remembered like the things we just we want to make a difference in the world we want to be seen we want to be remembered and so in my last year I, I gave myself time to feel it all and so when I was traveling on the World Cup and I would arrive in Davos for a camp instead of just going out and getting my training done because I wanted to be ready for world champs and I wanted to be in the best shape ever I went outside and I kind of looked around and I breathed it all in and I saw these amazing places I got to go. And I got to kind of allow myself the, the opportunity to feel the success and just the progress I had made.